really quickly. For those of you guys who don't know, I am one of the leaders over here, Megan Lynch, where we dream big, we hustle harder. Our focus is to grow to our potential, to develop as leaders, to develop a skill set, not only in the trading aspect, but also in network marketing. A lot of times people don't make money in network marketing because frankly, they don't know what they're doing. I'm just going to be honest. Because when I didn't make money, I didn't know what I was doing. Now that I know what I'm doing, I always make money. I could sell candy apples next week. I'm still going to make some money because it's the skill set that you pick up. And it doesn't matter what company you're in. If you have the right mindset and you know what you're doing, then um, you can make money anywhere. We have to support each other. Every single one of you guys on this call, you're a leader. This is Wake Up and Win Wednesday. It is my day off from doing presentations. I still do work. I'm always doing income producing activity, but it's the day that I don't actually have to present. I have other leaders who do that. We have two. We have a call going on today at two. We have two calls at 7 p.m. Eastern, and we have a call at 10. So you guys still have an opportunity to introduce this opportunity to every single person that you know. If you can't be on a call, at least put your people on a call. Also, I want you guys to understand that it's very, very important that we mind our own business. Every single one of you who paid $99, you're responsible for your own business. I don't care if your sponsor quit the day that you signed up. Honestly, you don't need your sponsor. Somebody disagreed with me, but you really don't. Because if you join this business because of your sponsor, you're, you're, not, you're in the wrong business, right? Now, we love our sponsors. Hopefully, we have great people who sign us up, and they're great parents, and they take care of us. But at some point, when you're a grown-up, you can't still be blaming your parents for what they didn't do for you. You're going to have to buck up and figure it out. You're going to have to buck up and figure out how to take control of your own life, your own business. So true leaders don't create followers, they create more leaders. That's what I do every single day. I do it out of love for you guys, but I have two kids and I don't want my kids to stay babies forever, right? My dad <laughs> used to say, if, I, if you're five years old, I need you to be six. If you're six, I need you to be seven. So he was always developing my brothers and sister and I to be leaders, not to be followers. So all of you, when you bring people into the business, you want to immediately make sure that you're growing your people up. If you've been over here for longer than a week, you are no longer new, right? As soon as you sign somebody up, here's my system. I sign them up. I never give anybody my link. I walk every single person that I sign up through the sign up process because I'm training them and I'm coaching them to be leaders. I signed up eight people yesterday oh, over the last two days and my eight leaders don't really need me anymore and they just got into the business two days ago and they're already leading their own teams that is the natural progression of of becoming an entrepreneur you have to have an entrepreneurial mindset you have to empower leaders so my question for all of you guys what type of leader are you are you one of those leaders who you, you can't really handle the challenges. You see challenges. Or are you one of those leaders where you don't see problems, you see solutions? Let me give you guys a, a very helpful hint. If you sign some, if, if you have a challenge in your business, do not put it in my telegram. Many of you guys learn the hard way that I'm going to delete your messages. And I had a couple people pop off at the mouth a little bit. So I had to delete them out of my group altogether. We are in this together. We are all leaders. We don't see problems. We see solutions. You have to focus on the solution, not the problem. When I'm talking to leaders, I know you guys want to call me and you want to um, tell me how you feel. <clears throat> there are no place for feelings <laughs> in business. Sorry. I know that that might sound harsh to you guys, but you don't get to the top of companies by uh, dealing in emotion, right? You got to be non-emotional when it comes to business. If you don't believe me, study Robert Kiyosaki, study uh, Gary V. I I need you guys to watch Gary V. if you can handle his language. I know some of you guys might be sensitive to language, but don't shoot the messenger, listen to the message. If you truly want to get ahead, you're going to have to focus on becoming a better 
leader. You're going to have to focus on solutions. I get it. Sometimes we want to vent. Get yourself a journal. <laughs> That's what I do. I don't call my leaders and do any kind of venting. I'm on the phone with my leaders for 60 seconds. All I want to know is what's the challenge? Let's figure out what the solution is. So for those of you guys who call me, if you start with the emotions, I'm probably setting my phone down because I'm multitasking. So I need you guys to start operating in the possible, not the impossible, right? Operate in the possible. I need you guys to start reading. What are some of the things you can read? Something that's going to get your mind right. First book you need to read is my playbook. If you've been over here for a week and you're in my organization, every single person on your team should have the playbook. If you have some downtime, go through the playbook. Reagan and I spent days, weeks, hours of our life. I stayed up for 24 straight hours to get the playbook out to everybody. Some things are going to change, but there's a lot of amazing information in there. And then I created a new playbook that is a condensed version of the first one. First week activity playbook. David Luciaga's playbook is inside of my playbook. Anything you could ever ask me is inside the playbook. What's my phone number? It's in there. What kind of broker should I use? It's in there. What kind of trader am I? It's in there because I put a survey in there for you. How do I launch my business? It's in there. Where can I find the Spanish presentation? It's in my playbook. Everything is in there. Nothing that you probably could ever ask me is not in this playbook. And I'm going to update it and revise the playbook um, to add even more questions. Somebody just asked in the group, where's the link for today? scroll up in the telegram there's a lot of information inside of my telegram and i'm trying to keep it as clear from challenges so that you guys can be updated all the time i need you guys to keep calm and take care of your own kids we talked about this yesterday you are responsible for the people that you bring into the business if you are not a good parent your kids are going to be unruly they're going to be coming into people's houses with their dirty shoes on with their stink attitudes. They're gonna be coming into people's telegrams, don't know how to act, right? <laughs> and I hope you guys hear the, the uh, humor in my voice, but I'm being serious. But I want you guys to understand I'm giving it to you in a way that I hope, hopefully you're receiving it um, because we got work to do, right? We, we have legends to create. We have families to change. We don't have time to be, to crying and complaining about anything. We just have time to be going to work. And I'm telling you guys right now that my status uh, is, is not a legend. So obviously I haven't met my goal. So in order to create a legend, I got to go to work. I got to bring extra people in. I have to replace some of the people that we're going to lose because they're going to become, they're doing this business casually, which means they're going to become a casualty in this business because they're not taking it seriously. So go find people who are just as serious as you. You guys have showed up. So it shows that you have a level of focus for this business, right? But I am going to tell you guys, I coach volleyball. My daughter is a national volleyball player. I went to college on a full. I went to college and walked on the volleyball team, actually. There were 17 other girls on the volleyball team. They were all on scholarship. I walked on. And I got a scholarship because I busted my butt. I was first in everything. I showed up first. I beat everybody's butt on suicides and uh, sprinting or whatever because I had something to prove. So I want you guys to understand what kind of leader I am. I'm an athlete. I have the heart of a lion. I'm telling you right now, I do not operate in emotion. And when I start operating in emotion, I usually go take a small moment to myself <laughs> okay so i want you guys yesterday's um uh yesterday's training if you missed it go back it's on my youtube channel i need all of you guys to take care of your own kids they're your kids take care of them when you bring them into the business make sure they know what their numbers are every single monday you guys are going to see your numbers change they might go down drastically that's because in your back office anybody who is up for renewal for that week is not going to show up in your numbers 
the company is going to give you worst case scenario of what your check is going to look like if you don't go and call your children and get your children to upgrade. And when you tell your kids to upgrade, guess what they're going to do? They're going to go tell their children, hey, listen, I need you to upgrade. I don't want to have to call my grandkids because their mom and dad is not taking care of them, if you know what I mean, right? Everybody I have personally sponsored, I am taking responsibility for them. However, I also let my kids know that you're not a baby, right? We're going to grow you up really, really quickly so that you're self-sufficient. My kids are 13 and 18. They go to the grocery store. They clean their rooms. They, you know, I'm not telling my kids to do anything because when you're 13 and 18, you darn well better be behaving like a, like a young adult, right? Age doesn't make you an adult. Being responsible, productive, and uh, accountable makes you an adult. So same thing in this business, guys. You got to wake up and you got to win your mornings. You got to set a routine, create focus, plan your day, stick to a routine, have a morning ritual. Every day I wake up, I do the same thing. I'm checking my numbers. I'm making sure that everything looks right. If there are any challenges, I go to my leadership and we're on the phone for 60 seconds. I do not have time to be emotional with David on the phone right? He's dealing with a lot of people in the company. So I'll say, David, hey, listen, I noticed there were some people deleted. Have you seen this? Okay, report back to me. Let me know. I don't call David and I don't, we don't do any kind of, you know, emotions because we got to protect our vibration. So on Mondays, what you guys should do is you should go through your back office, go to account under subscriptions, make sure your auto billing is set up, know your dates, when are you supposed to expire so you have money in your account? Go to IBO under overview and check your numbers. Go to IBO My Team Personal Referrals and find out from your children who's pending and call them, email, text, take care of your kids. I gave you guys some suggestions on what you should email your children every single week. You know, let them know this is your business partner. I wanted to remind you how important it is to plug in. Go to your back office. Know your numbers. When are you due? Focus on building your business. Let's connect this week on our weekly meeting at 7 o'clock on Thursday. That's how you run a business. you got to stay connected to the people that you bring into the business. Or send them a text message daily. Let them know that, hey, listen, you got any challenges? You notice anything in your back office, okay? And then we get back to work. I want you guys to keep calm and follow the system. One thing I do want you guys to understand that the stages of, stages of business are that you have to maintain your recruitment mode. You have to constantly be looking for new blood because the longer that people stay over here, sometimes they're not as excited. Sometimes they're not following the system and they're having challenges. One lady told me, man, I, I'm having a hard time signing up three people. I said, did you empty your cell phone on paper? No, but there are no buts. So you haven't even started your business yet. My system is very simple. It's seven steps. You do those seven steps, you make a lot of money. You don't do the steps, you don't make money. So you guys got to start getting your team to follow those steps. I am launching about 30 people's businesses tomorrow because those people have been over here for a week and not one of them has launched their business, which is unacceptable. So I got with my leaders yesterday and I said, you haven't launched your business. You're going to be stagnant. Therefore, your team is going to be stagnant. So I took over. I said, I'll make their flyers. I'll take care of your grandkid, your, your kids, <laughs> right? So if you're not going to take care of them, I will step in and take care of my grandkids and my great, great grandkids but I might give them a little bit more attention than I give to you because those are the ones who, who need the attention. They need to make sure that they understand the system. You guys want to stay in recruiters mode. Don't start managing people. If you do, you're going to start complaining about the people you brought into the business. Then you're going to start complaining about the company. Then you're going to be out of business. So stages of business. You got to stay in recruitment mode all the time. I am constantly looking to bring in new people 
new blood. Stay off the emotional roller coaster. One minute you're super excited, next minute somebody says boo to you, right? And then you're, you're starting to doubt Tradera. No, you hear no's, negativity, there's competition. And you start to doubt yourself, this is where 80% of the people quit the business. They have no goals, no commitment, make excuses. I need you guys to start spending your time with the 20 percenters who are gonna fight through the challenges. Spend 80% of the time with the 20 percenters. Spend 20% of your time listening to the 80 percenter. Those are the ones who are gonna quit the business. They're gonna be in and out. Before you know it, they're gonna be off doing some kind of susu or something like that, trying to make some quick money that they don't have to work for. And there's no knock if you guys are doing that, no knock. I, I value everybody's hustle, but when you get into these businesses, you gotta put in some work. You're building a foundation. I'm not gonna be in a business that doesn't have a real product, nor will I be in a business that doesn't have sustainability. So you guys are gonna have to put in a little bit of work. Last thing I wanna tell you guys before I bring on Linda Rogers Brown is um, I want you guys to rethink how you do your business, okay? Rethink how you do your business. Stop, um, stop asking questions in the chat for just a second because if you're asking questions, it means you're not listening. <laughs> I'm being bossy, right? People love me or hate me, you know, but later on they always are like, you're right, Megan, stop asking questions in the chat and pay attention. I want you guys to understand you have to rethink, rethink homelessness for just a second. I am an advocate, I did this, um, this walk with 350 students. I gathered up all the supplies I possibly could and we went out and 20 of us, actually myself and 20 students, went out and we walked around and we, um, we met the homeless, okay? And when we met the homeless, they took me all around Indianapolis, downtown Indianapolis. I learned so much about why people become homeless, but you know what I learned? I, I learned that I have to give them a certain level of respect. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly before Linda comes on, that you can learn a lot from a person who seemingly has nothing. When we look at homeless people, First thing we think is, oh, they probably are on drugs or something. I met a couple homeless people and one of the guys, his um, wife ended up dying. He got super depressed, stopped paying his bills, got hooked on drugs after that, found himself homeless, right? We never know why people are in the situations they're in. That's why you can't judge people. So I have a different level of respect for homeless individuals. And here's what I want you guys to think about. What if you did your business like homeless people do their business? What if you did your business like the homeless? You guys would be legends. Let me show you real quick. What can you learn from the homeless? Well, think about the homeless. What do they do? How do they run their business? Well, number one, they're consistent. They always show up. You guys ever go drive down the same street and you see the same homeless person out there on time, mind you, every single day, they're in the same spot on time. Every day, they're always showing up. You know what else the homeless do that many people in business don't do? They're always in uniform. I saw a homeless guy and he had on some really nice shoes. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I don't even believe that you're homeless. Not if you're walking around in those Nikes. Heck no. Homeless people are always in uniform. You guys, think about it. Are you in uniform? What's your appearance look like? Because your appearance matters. Now, I'm not telling you you have to be decked out in a suit and tie or anything like that. But when we start doing meetings, when people look at you, do they look at you and say, man, you look like you have a level of um, professionalism. So think about that. Homeless people are always in uniform, always. Number three, they always have the proper tools. You rarely see a homeless person without a flyer or a sign. Why aren't you guys creating flyers? Why aren't you creating signs for your business? A lot of people call me and say, hey, Megan, can you make this flyer? Go to postermywall.com 
and make yourself a flyer. Make yourself a flyer that says the call information. You guys are, are business people. You don't need anybody else to do it. All I do, I'm a resource. I'm gonna point you guys in the right direction. Go to postermywall.com and make yourself a flyer. One person said, Megan, I'm just not good at it. Well, get good at it. Because whatever you're not good at, then get better at it. If you don't know how to do a YouTube video, go to YouTube and type in, how do I do a YouTube channel? How do I make a PowerPoint? I don't need to teach you guys that. YouTube taught me how to do this PowerPoint. Isn't it great? I love PowerPoint. But I didn't know how to do all the transitions. You know how I found out? YouTube. <laughs> Have the proper tools, get yourself a flyer, make yourself some signs. Number four, stay in high traffic areas. Homeless people don't hang out in places where they're not going to see people. You're only gonna see them in high traffic areas. They go where the people hang out, where the money is. Where's the money? Some of you guys keep talking, talking to your, your broke friends and you wonder why your business isn't growing. Stop talking to broke people. Nope, let me take that back. Stop talking to broke-minded people. You can talk to broke people. Because I was at one point like, my bank account read broke, <laughs> right? Stop talking to broke-minded people. Stop thinking that you guys have to cater our $99 business to broke-minded people. Somebody asked me, well, is there any other way we can get into the company? No, go get $99. And if you're 18 and over the age of 18 and you don't have $99, something's wrong with your finances. I've put a person into the business, haven't seen him since. He was like, well, I work 17 hours a day, and, but he still doesn't have $99. I'm like, what in the world? Why are you working 17 hours a day and you still don't have $99? I don't understand it. So I want you guys to stay in high traffic areas. You need to start catering to entrepreneurs. If you cater your business to broke-minded people, if you keep trying to pay for people to get into this $99 business, you're going to have an entire organization of um, needy people. I'm going to tell you that right now. My son signed up in this business. I did not pay his way in. Like I told you guys, if you walked around in 90, you know, $250 tennis shoes and you don't have $99, there's nothing wrong with your finances. There's something wrong with your mindset. So I want you guys to understand, you want to stay in high traffic areas. Homeless people are very per persistent. They know it's a law of numbers. Think about this. If a homeless person says to you, hey, do you have some change? And you walk right by them. They don't go cry in their Cheerios because somebody didn't give them two bucks. You know what they do? They talk to the next person and the next person and the next person. They're very persistent. You know what some homeless people say? Okay, you say, no, no, I don't have any change. And they're like, okay, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Make you feel like a, like a really bad about yourself, doesn't it? You know what they're not? They're not emotional. They don't start saying, well, why? Please, you need this opportunity. They're not emotional. Most of them, guys, they're not moved by you saying no. They're not moved by you fumbling through your wallet trying to find change. They're, they're not emotional. They're not moved by no's, by the indecisive, or by the dream stillers, by the needers. They're looking for leaders. They're looking for people who are going to say, yeah, okay, I got a couple bu bucks for you. And if, if somebody says no, law of numbers says if they stay out there lot long enough and they ask enough people, somebody's going to give them some money. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, they probably have a set goal. What is your set goal for the week? How much money do you want to make this week? Some of you guys, when I'm talking to you, you talk to me about the challenge, the problem. I don't have any money. I got to pay my bills. And I'm like, well, what are you doing this week to make sure that you hit night and you're at 500 a month because they're going to pay you on Monday. So what are you doing to make sure that you make the money that you say that you need? Always set a daily goal. What's your bottom line? What's your weekly dollar? Guaranteed, when I was talking to the homeless, this it was a gentleman and his fiance, and I met him the night before. I don't know what, I was crazy back then. I went downtown where all the homeless people were in the middle of the night, crazy, and met a homeless guy. 
And I was like, hey, can you take me around the city tomorrow? And the next day it was me, the homeless guy, his fiance, I bought some donuts and it was 20 students and their parents. And we walked in the rain for four hours and handed out supplies to the homeless and we prayed with them and we asked them questions. I really truly wanted to know, how did you end up in the situation that you're in? Because the only way that you can help people is to really quickly get to the challenge so we can start focusing on the solution. And I learned that homeless people, they have a goal. Some of them say, you know what? I just need to make 20 bucks a day. If I can make $20 a day, I can get food. I can make sure that I uh, can you know, bathe myself and do those types of things and buy soap. What's your daily goal? Not only that, you guys have to expect, I can't see, so sorry, I'm gonna have to move this. You have to expect and accept rejection. Be kind, humble, and likable. When somebody tells them no, they expect for people to say no, and they accept rejection. Thank you so much, God bless you anyway. And then next, they go and ask the next person. Thank you so much, God bless you anyway. Next, thank you so much, God bless you anyway. And so they get to the person who says, yeah, I'm gonna give you some money. I need you guys to do your business. If a homeless person can be this persistent and calculated, what in the world are we doing, right? So that's it. I'm gonna pass it over <laughs> to Miss Linda Rogers Brown. So hopefully you guys, I'll put this a little um, snapshot. Keep your mind right <laughs> on uh, how you should be doing your business. So I appreciate this. Yes, it was recorded. So uh, Miss Linda Rogers Brown, are you out there, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> oh, what a season, huh? What a season. You know, Megan, I'm going to uh, piggyback off what you said a few minutes ago about homelessness because I just um, uh, was talking about that with my team yesterday, but a different level of homelessness. And it's amazing that you brought, I mean, I don't know, it seems like you and I are in sync on so many things is amazing. But um, I was talking about some of the people that are homeless um, that have made success. Um, I'm talking about like the Tyler Perry's, the Robert Kiyosaki's, the uh, Ro um, Tony Robbins, and all of the people, so many people that became millionaires became homeless, but they didn't give up on their dream. They didn't give up on their goal. They kept going, they kept moving. Um, you know, uh, they would sleep in their cars and take a shower at a friend's house or, you know, use public restrooms. And now with all of the gas stations that have showers for truck drivers, I mean, I'm, I've heard so many stories of homeless people. But today, what I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about how we can get our business up and excited again, reignited. You know, we're going through a transition and, and a lot of people are frustrated. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I'm an honest person. I'm in North Carolina, but I'm originally from New York. I worked in Manhattan forever. So I was always around millions of people and you have to have a certain type of skin to be around certain environments. But you know, when developers make websites for people, I mean, there's a lot of people that can make websites, but they have to make the website fit with the content of the company. It starts with a shell, but they gotta make it fit. They have to make it fit with our compensation plan. They have to make it fit with the genealogy because we're not, it's not a, a, gen, uh, a canned approach. It's not like every network marketing company has the same data or the same structure or the same template. We have different compensation plans. We have different ways our business flows. So we have new developers, man. We were so excited, man, July 1st, we're gonna get new developers, but now, now they have to make it fit. They have to make all the parts come together. And this is um, Linda preaching to Linda as well, because I went through this. I mean, we all are going through it. People call me from six o'clock in the morning till midnight. And some people ask me the same question. Some people, when, I'm not a developer. Now I went to school for computer science. That was my first major before I switched to business. And um, back in 1978, we had, um, we had the, the cards, we didn't have Microsoft, we didn't have Windows, we, we had the DOS system, and I had the program in basic COBOL and Fortran, and I hated it, it was boring. But I'm gonna tell you what my professor did. My professor started the, the uh, semester, and he said, okay, I need you to get this book, and I need these nine 
programs created by mid-semester. And he left the room. He gave us a book. He told us what book we had to buy from the bookstore and told us the type of programs we had to program. Because see, you can't teach somebody computer. You got to get in there, get your hands dirty and figure it out. You're going to, I mean, I have crashed computers. Luckily, we got uh, antivirus now. But they, I mean, it's hard, especially for me, for my house, and I'm not looking at your screen. I'm not seeing what buttons you're pushing. So we have to realize that we are all in this together and whoever can help and get near people, like we've had to go to people's homes and things like that. We're going to do the best we can. But the frustration has to stop here. And the reason why I say that is because we see the new system. We see it. We see the development. We see e-wallets working. We're watching. Now we get to watch things go in progress versus not seeing anything. So now at least we can see with our own eyes the progress as it's going on. And I took 24 hours for myself to flip and dip and all that stuff and now, boom. And the only reason why I did that is because I don't like change. People who are on a move, people that are always after success or whatever, when we're flowing, we wanna keep flowing. I don't know anybody that likes change that slows you down when you're at a certain page where you're all in and you're excited and things are happening, no one wants to see a stop sign. And no one wants to see, you know, even when you're driving down the street, you don't want to see a detour because you're going in a direction. You don't want to see no detour signs and you got to go an area that you are not familiar with and find your way back to where you were going in the first place. We are there. We are sleeping in our cars. <laughs> the ones that are here right now that have stuck with it, we are getting out of our cars. We have had to sleep in our cars because we had to put our business on hold until things got together. And we're still growing. We're still, they're still fixing it. You're going to see things. You're going to have trouble getting in. You're gonna, and it's going to get done. But no one, no leader in the company or anyone outside of the developers can help you do it. And if it just won't, if everything you try doesn't work, I mean, two can come together and try to fix it or whatever, but if it just doesn't work, we're gonna do whatever we can to get it to work. But right now we wanna refresh our business. We wanna reignite it, get the, the excitement back. But first and foremost, <laughs> if you are on this webinar, there's 515 people on this webinar. If you are on here and you haven't renewed yet, shame on you. If you haven't reactivated yet, shame on you. This is what needs to happen right now. Renew your membership today, right now. Please, if we have to say please, we'll say please. But, and the reason why I'm only saying this is because when I go in my back office and I, I, I filter it to show me all the people that are still pending, I know a lot of you are still pending. Now, if it's not due to financial hardship, then you go ahead and just renew. Because it affects you, it affects everybody involved. And all the hard work that we've done, let's not let it go to waste. And then another thing, if you have in your mind that you're so frustrated you want to quit, wrong. Because new people are coming on board to a new system. We have paid the way. We have earned the right to be legend. We have earned the right to be the top income earners of this company. Don't you dare. Don't you dare give up now because of a glitch. Are you going to lose a check that you was getting over a glitch? Are you going to lose a check you could possibly get over a glitch? Glitch after glitch. I don't care. We, we were in formulation. We explained that until we were blue in the face. But now we got to mature up and we got to rank up because now we have a new system that we can watch the progress. We can see the development. We can see where it's going. So now that should give you a whole new sense of hope. But just don't quit. Because I'm going to tell you something. I contacted a lady on July 2nd. And I hope she's on here today. She's an old friend of mine. And she didn't join Forex. Do you know she sent me in Messenger a, a, a presentation from Megan? And I, could, I texted back. I said, well, I showed you this July 2nd. See, sometimes people might not even hear your voice. That's why you don't give up on people. That's because, you know, they're going to come in. I'm telling you, when this thing is state of the art and ready, they're coming in. So some of us might have to go back to the drawing board just to get our mindset right. Not because we got to start all over in Chidera, but just to get your mindset right. Reignite you. Reignite your business. Reignite your team, okay? And remember how we do it. We use our product, we learn how to trade. So if things are down, remember, we're learning how to trade. 
that stuff is in the back office for you to use. Service a few customers. I'm talking about the ones that, you know, don't want to trade. And, you know, like I spoke to one this morning, I got to get you back in the system. He just wanted to trade. That's all he wanted to do. And he was consistent in paying his $99 a month. So I have to go service him. I got to keep those people that just were trading. They felt the pinch too, but we got to make sure we get them back and make sure they are settled into the academy and all the other benefits that are available that are working and functional right now. Sponsor a few distributors while we're still going on. Still keep your business flowing. Don't quit. If you have three, sponsor some more. Because as you can see, when we told you to sponsor more than three, you can see what happened. I mean, so many leaders could say, I told you so. But you just want to make, your, make sure your foundation is solid. Support your team. Get back in the game. Make sure that they are equipped to win. Work together and share ideas. Okay, while they're down, we can start regrouping. We can see what we're gonna, where we're gonna take the company. We can tap into new things, new ideas, new concepts, and repeat this process over and over and over again. So I just wanted to just remind you what we do and remind you to motivate your team. The faster you help your team get back to a winning mindset, the higher the likelihood they will stick around. We need everybody to stick around. Why? Because they deserve it. They're just not seeing the forest for the trees. And the longer you take to help your team to get to a win, the higher the likelihood they're gonna drop off. So let's get out of our own head, let's get out of our own feelings, and let's focus on trying to reignite our team. Remember, we help people get a win quickly. That's what we do. That's our motto. And I showed you this before, do not gamble your title, your time, or your income on people that want to stay inactive. We, can't, we couldn't drag them in in the beginning. Ain't no need trying to drag them back now. They'll come back. We got to go find the people that didn't go through the glitch, maybe, or go to the people that don't know they expired. We got too much work to do to try to focus on one person. Remember I told you, we can't turn a deuce into an ace. I don't care how many times you try, an ace is an ace and a deuce is a deuce. Don't try to drag people across the finish line, send everyone through the getting started training and work it through just like Megan said today. There's still people asking questions that's in the playbook. The only people should, that should not know what's in the playbook are the people that came in yesterday or maybe this morning. Because if they came in the day before yesterday, their, their, their sponsor should have at least show them where the playbook was, telegram, ran them through the thing, went through the first pages of the first week of Intradera. I mean, just really support your team and get them there. And don't stop your personal sponsoring for nothing. Keep the door open for your inactive people to ask you for help. You still gotta have room for that because you still wanna get those numbers back to where they were. But don't stop waiting for them, but do what you can. Keep the door open and spend 90% of your time with the 10% of the people who are workers. And then when they duplicate what you do, then everybody will, will be pr producing and productive. And don't you dare give up. Don't give up what you want most for what you need right now. Don't ever give up. The opposite of excellent is just good enough, okay? And most people are just comfortable enough. They, they won't do the things that, that make them uncomfortable. Well, this is so uncomfortable. And you're not the only one <laughs> uncomfortable. Understand that. You are not the only one that was frustrated or frustrated. Because baby boomers didn't learn computers like the generations behind. We were the ones where computers were the first ones in the house. Some of us, some people still don't even know how to send a text message. So if you're a baby boomer and you don't have computer skills, understand we're gonna do the best we can, but the more you do, the more you learn, I promise you. And then if you sponsored seniorpreneurs, understand their plight and reach out and help them, okay? This is all about refreshing and renewing. Keep your vision in front of you at all times and still remember you're at the right time. You're still in at the right time. You can look out there and see that there's so much stuff out here, but there's no reason if you've been in one month, two months, five months, six months, you're still in the right time because it's still not fully a household name yet. Most of the most successful people in the industry joined during this time. 
you have to get in before it's a household name if you want to be positioned for the top level. Because imagine all the thousands of people that's going to come in, that's going to wind up in your team. And then this is the right company. Do you think that they're spending all this money, millions to create this, this infrastructure and this, this uh, back office and things like that? The money they spent, that wasn't a couple of dollars. That was millions of dollars that they have invested. Do you think they're going to shut the door now? No, they are just as frustrated as we are because they want to keep moving as well. They don't want to lose money. But very few people realize where they are. So let's now let's just move on business forward. We we understand where we are, but you gotta you gotta keep it simple, okay? As you can see, and I've learned through all this frustration of people, this was just reiterated how simple we have to keep this. Anybody can complicate the business, but it takes a genius to keep it simple. I mean, really, we always want to say too much, do too much, expect too much, want too much, but Mature individuals in this industry learn to keep it simple. But even an eighth grader, an eight-year-old. Today, eight-year-olds, I mean, they have computers in kindergarten. Some of your grandchildren can help you do what, you, what you're trying to do at home right now, okay? But have a system for your team. Come together and create a system that's comfortable for everybody and make sure that system stays duplicatable. And continue to sponsor two to four people every month. No excuses. Always. But one thing, if you want to succeed, is you got to follow the leader. There's webinars, there's conference calls, there's training. I mean, the leaders are out here. They keep you well informed. They're willing to help you. And, and all of us have made mistakes. All of us have been where you are. Man, when I get a new job, I hate being the new person on the job. Everybody's moving and flowing and I'm in training. I can't, I got to learn and I'm the, I'm the, the green pea. But once I get it, I'm going to make mistakes along the way. I'm not going to always get it right, but I'm going to learn from it. But then I can help my team, just like you help your children. If they listen and are coachable, you help them get past some of the mistakes by them not having to experience them based off of what you mentored them. And work on yourself. Here's a time to work on yourself. Get some extra reading in, listen to a, a webinar, get on a podcast. Because while you're working on yourself, you're becoming an expert. And people join people. They don't join business. They join people. They don't see the business moving and shaking. They see you moving and shaking. They see you excited. They see you moving forward. They don't see the Tradera. They see you. Tradera is just a resource that happens to be one of the best resources out here today. But skills plus activity and sustained period of time equals success. Get the skills while you're down, while you're in a, in, in a pickle or whatever. While you, This is the time, that's when you learn. When your back up is against the wall, that's when you realize what you have to do. You make a decision that I gotta change. I gotta do better. I gotta talk to people. I can't be afraid. I can't let talking to people stop my growth. They're expecting me to teach. I got to teach because your job is to teach people, to teach people, to teach people. Because this is a teaching business. It's a duplication business. It's a coaching business. Everybody's a coach. You sign up one person, you're a coach. Because you're going to teach them what you learned about your dad. Nina teaches Jackie, Ron, and Freddie, who teaches, they're personally sponsored and so on. And that's how you build a business. It starts with just you. And then here comes your children. And then your children, they're going to have their children. You should have it down packed by now. This is your structure right here. You shouldn't have to see no further than this grid right here. Because your children and the, their children are going to get it done if you do it right. And once you could do that, you will have more duplication in your business. You should only have to focus on your children and their children. And it's about a lot of people doing a little bit. You know, some people tell me, Linda, I don't have a lot of time. That's great, because guess what? If you could put in 10 hours a week, you're gonna bring in three people that put in 10 hours a week, that's 40 hours a week for you right there. And they're gonna bring in three people to bring in 10, put in 10 hours a week. Is everybody doing a little bit. But now if you're going for legend, 10 hours a week isn't enough. 
So now I introduced my team to some third party tools. If this can help you now, mind you, I do not make any money on anything I'm sharing with you today, but sometimes you need a little extra thing. If you don't have a system in place, you know, something that can help you build your business, all businesses need some type of system. In network marketing, you need a system to generate leads, a system to train your team. You know, um, we have webinars, but use third party tools, social media, you know, CRM programs to keep everything organized. The fortune you know is in the follow up. But the average person needs seven to 20 follow ups before they join. This lady joined into somebody else. Why? Because I sent her a message one, one time. I took advantage of our friendship, thinking that because we were friends, she was gonna just come on board whenever she was ready. No, I didn't follow up with her. I'm excited she's on board. She's part of a great opportunity. I really care about people. But you know, one thing that I like about capture pages is that you know you can send this to people. What I do is I start off with a phone call and I say, well, can I send you a video? Sure. I send them this page. And when they get to this page, they fill out their information and it sends it to me. Now, when they get in the back after they put in the information, guess what they have? They have Megan's 10 minute video to watch. But all I wanted was the follow up information right here. This is what I needed. And then it has an automatic autoresponder. You know, now this doesn't pay any referrals, but if you get your team together and they decide to use it, if you refer three people on your team, you don't have to pay for it every month. So if you find three people that want to use it on your team, if you decide as a team, this is a tool you guys want to use, it's good to do, but no one pays you for referrals. We, we have one business, Tradera. But this capture page was already in there for Tradera. You don't have to build it. You don't have to know about it. You know, it always generates a list of prospects on there. Prospects that opt in tend to stay with you because you have given them, you know, they've given you their contact information. And this automatically sends out emails on your behalf. Now, I've had this for a while. I haven't used it, but it's there. If I run out of people and I get a, a list of names or whatever, or see some people, strangers on, on Facebook, if I'm going to send it to strangers, I might use something like this. This is just a tool. But if you're looking for ways to build your business and you run out of people or you run out of ideas, you know, you can send somebody a message messenger and send them this link and then they can fill in the information. And then you get that information. Teamsy, I love Teamsy. This one, there's no referral bonus on this. Teamsy is a CRM for MLM professionals who grow their business and team. I'm the type of person, like if you go to a job and you're an executive assistant or you're a secretary, or you're just a call center. When you get in there, you log into your computer. Why do companies have you do that instead of just signing up people and writing name on the piece of paper or a check mark that you talk to them? Because they have a system. And sometimes when you have a system, it'll follow up for you or to help you show you how to follow up with people. And I'm going to show you Teamsy because it's really simple. But I love it because it keeps me organized. And I'm, I'm trying to help my team. And the more people that we keep organized, the more our business's foundation will be so solid, it won't crack. And you have to invest in your business. If you're going to write off taxes, you need some um, expenses. You know, these are little $19.95 a month programs. Once you start making money, once you start building a bigger team, you might want to have something in, set, in place. Text Edley, I love Text Edley. I, right now, I could save seven, I could send out 7,000 texts at one time. Cost me $25 a month. But this keeps me in communication with people. Text Edley, you put the name in and, you know, and just it sends out text. I tried to do it on my phone, but my team got too big. I can't send everybody a text on my phone. My team got too big. So Text Edley was a, a program I use it for my church because I teach Bible study. So I have all the people that come to my Bible studies. I have over 70 some people and I text them. We're, we're studying this tonight. Make sure you did the homework or whatever. And then I have a, 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 a tab for my team. And then I have a tab for my prospects. But here you can send out 10,000 uh, messages at one time, okay? And then here, some of you have heard about this, some have used it. I think Megan have used it, creativemarketingincentives.com. I just launched this yesterday. I said, how am I going to get my people to, 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 um, to Legend? Now, this program here costs you $99 a month, okay? I'm not getting paid on this either. But this is when you start getting $1,000 a month or so. You need to invest in um, incentives. Some, sometimes it works. 
So like if somebody gets on Megan's webinar as of today for my team, if somebody gets on Megan's webinar, if somebody gets on a, a, a conference call or whatever, after they get on the webinar and they have either participated in a three-way call or joined the business, we're going to send them a free three-day, two-night vacation voucher. They got 50 destinations to choose from. It's not a timeshare. And we're just going to email and say thank you for, for being a part of what we're doing. People love to receive stuff. And you can let them know, you know, if you get on the webinar, we're going to give you a free gift. But you got to, once you talk to my colleague, you know, to verify that you was on the webinar, they're going to send out, the, that gives them, that makes them not tell you, no, I don't want to do a three-way call. All I'm trying to do with my team and what the leaders are trying to do with their team, Dominique has a 90-day program coming up. Megan has uh, a, a Project 5000 and she put us through assignments. But what leaders are trying to do is keep you active and then give you tools to help you build your business. Because if everybody starts doing things like this, people will want to stay in the business. All these companies out here are the top MLM companies in the world. Let's crush them. Let's show them who's the top company today. Now, I want to go to my screen right quick. Um, I just want to show you guys something um, with what I was talking about. I'm just going to show you what these programs look like. Like I said, I earn nothing from it. I'm here for, for everybody to win, OK? This is for everybody, every team to win. And like Megan said in the beginning, you're independent business owners. You might find something out there that works for you. But when I log into my office in the morning, this is what I have. And right here is my calendar. It tells me what I got to do, what I have to do. I got to have a calendar. I like the printed calendar, but sometimes I'm on the go and I can't pull it out of my my bag and so you know i can look at this on my phone i can look at you know because it goes to my google calendar but you gotta have a calendar of the things that you got going on today okay well it's not gonna open up for you maybe it's got some private stuff on there i don't know but anyway it's not gonna open up for you today but you gotta have a calendar but let's go to let's go to team z let me go to team z first so just like I would come to the job, I would go get my, you know, brush my teeth, get in my office, sit down, open my computer, everything's right there. Check my email, my social media, my bank account, <laughs> things like that. There's a, a routine. But see, this is Teamsy. And I'm going to log in and just show you. I have prospects I haven't even talked to yet. This sends out scripts for you. And that's what I like about it. Um, you hey, control. Are you, are you showing a screen right now? Should I be? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you see it now? No, we can't see it. It might log up in a minute. Hold on. Okay. It could be slow. Yeah, it's still your PowerPoint that we're looking okay. at. Let me, let me let me change it then. Hold on. Oh, a new share. I'm sorry. There we go. Now can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So Team Z, man, I'm telling you, you get your team to use this little program. And I think they give you 30 days for free to try it out. You ain't got to pay nothing. But I, I, if I go over here in the menu, now this is the dashboard, and I have my dailies. Check my social media, personal development, use the products, exercise, you know, at least prospect a person today. But if I go to team, if I go into the program, You're going to see the prospects I haven't even talked to yet. 4,221 prospects. They are all listed in here. I uploaded them in here, waiting for the system to get good. Now that the system is good, boom, get ready to go. And it took me five minutes to upload them. Okay. So here, say I click, clicked on Mary Abel. Now, Mary, I gave her five stars because she was a powerful person to me. Okay. Say I want to contact Mary, I just hit connect. And here I write my notes, but say I want to share with her the business opportunity, okay? And it's going to follow up with me, with her in a couple of days, but I don't know what to say to Mary. So I click on this little button right here, it says scripts. And say I want to send her a Facebook, an email, a text, an Instagram, blah, 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 blah do a phone call. Say I'm going to, going to call her. It's already got scripts embedded in it. Say I want to, I've already talked to her and you know she said no, but asking for recommendations or connect with her, you know, connect her as a customer or whatever. 
this whole thing here. And say I'm talking to a distributor. There's somebody on my team. Hey, Jane, you're doing a great, so great. I'm proud of you, congratulations, or whatever, on, and it's a blank. So you can use this to stay connected and communicating with your team. And the scripts are in. And then if you want to add your own script, you can add your own script in here. If you want to add new scripts, OK? And then on top of that, once you do that, you've connected with her, you sit here, and you type your note, what it said. And then she will wind up on your dashboard once you do all that but I'm gonna show you other people. These people have winded up on my dashboard. Jeffrey Allen joined. There's more that joined, but they're off the dashboard. These are the ones that are follow up. I got two to do. So it tells you, it's a very simple, it's not hard. It gives you reports, it tells you what to do, but the main thing is it's a communication tool, okay? I love that. So let's go to, uh, let's see the other one that we have here. And I only got a few. Let's go to uh, Tex Edley. Now, text Edley, like I told you, it sends out text. I have for $25 a month, I can send out 2,000 texts a month, okay? Well, I got more than 2,000 people that I need to send texts out because you saw those 4,900 some odd texts or 200 some odd texts. I'm going to send all of those pro prospects a text first together. So I get 2,000 a month and I've been accumulating them. I've already sent out this many texts. This is my Bible study group and I send it to them every week, but I save them for such a time as this. So I'm gonna initiate the peak, the interest with a text to them first, because I know a lot of people don't check their email, text is the way to go. And then I have a, one for my team, so I could text them, hey, we're gonna have a meeting today, this, that, blah, 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 whatever. And everybody gets it at the same time. So I love text Edley, and that it takes two seconds, it's just like if you just type the text. And when you type it, it shows up like a phone so you can see exactly what you're texting. So say I want to, let me see, a message. Click on message. I want to send a new message. And as I'm typing the message over here, da -da 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 -da, it shows me on the phone what it's going to look like on their phone. If they don't want to receive anymore, they could stop. Now you're only going to have the people that are most interested. If it only allows you to put up 160 words, now if you want to put 360, it counts as two texts. If you add, add a, a photo, it's going to count as three texts. So don't use up all your texts with a bunch of stuff you don't need. But either way, text editing, perfect, perfect communication to add to your tools. Okay, now I want to go to, let me see, um, text, um, let's go to creative marketing incentives. This is amazing. I, I know Megan and Reagan has used these, but I don't know if you've seen the new stuff. Not only can we send people on a three-day, two-night vacation, we can also give them $100 to spend. <laughs> so, I mean, this is huge. And it has airline tickets. Um, well, I don't want to log again. It has airline tickets. It has, um, you know, all types of things. So you can literally tailor this. If somebody gets on a webinar conference call, everybody send them a three-day, two-night vacation. But once they join, as a thank you, you can give them airline tickets. <laughs> you can give them a, a, long, a cruise or whatever. Here's a vacation. They got one for Vegas. There's so many in here. And then you go down here, they got cruises. They have um, resorts. They have um, dining room restaurants. You can give somebody $25 dinner uh, coupons. They can go to a restaurant that they want. And all they do is pay the taxes on the hotel. Whatever the room tax is at night, they got to pay that because there's not no timeshare. The hotels are using this because the rooms are empty 90% of the year, unless it's vacation season or whatever. So they want to fill those rooms, get people in, enjoy the week or whatever time they stay, and then come back. And now when they come back, they're going to pay or they're going to eat in the restaurant or whatever. And then they even have smart devices. I mean, you can give your teams tablets and stuff. I mean, it's amazing some of the things that these incentive programs have. And I have been using. CMI since 2005. Because of this, I earned an $80,000 Jaguar because everybody that showed up to an, an event, I took their email and I emailed them a voucher. They show up, whether they use the voucher or not, as long as you give it to them, an agent sets them up on vacation. My daughter and her husband went to Jamaica on the anniversary with one of my vouchers. So they work, okay? Um, but anyway, you have hotel, see, they can, you can give them $200 worth of hotel savings if they do this. When you start having meetings at your homes and hotels, 
you, I mean, advertise it. Get a free three-day, two-night vacation just for showing up. People who show up, not a timeshare. Make sure you mention that. So this is just some of the tools that I use and I've introduced it to my team. Like I said, there's no financial gain. I mean, everybody can enjoy, you know, the benefits of growing your team. But if you want to kickstart it a little bit more or get people more, the adrenaline flowing a little bit more, you might need to add some incentives. And, you know, it's worth it. So my whole team for $99 a month, unlimited vouchers. You could fill a stadium and give everybody in there a voucher. And all you have to do is sign, uh, email it to them. Don't print them because they, they expire. They have to activate them in 30 days, but they got a year to use the vacation. Some of them two years. But imagine somebody be able to go away on vacation just because, you know, um, they listen to our presentation. And Linda, if I can just jump in, Reagan and I went on Shark Tank in Vegas and we, last year, we used a voucher. So we literally stayed in this amazing hotel for four days and it was like i think we paid the taxes i think we paid like 30 bucks and we were in vegas <laughs> so right. it's they work it's it's pretty amazing so and everybody doesn't have to buy it y'all come together it's 99 dollars a month so if you're making money do a capture page my capture page somebody paid 500 dollars for tradera's page on there okay if you go to the mycapturepage.com um i'm gonna show you what's in the back side of that this when they sign in, this is what's in the back side. It says, welcome to Tradera. So whoever initiated the Tradera uh, capture page, they paid $500 for all of us, okay? And then you can go back there and get it for $19.95 a month or something like that. And then if you refer three of your team members, you don't have to pay. So what I did with my team, I got mine, three people wanted, and then when somebody else wanted, we put them under the other people just to help everybody get it for free or whatever. If you don't even want to do all that, it's $19.95 a month. But the first video they see is Megan. Okay. I want to welcome you to our very powerful business community. So that's what I love about it. And then if you actually go to their website, um, well, actually, if I, yeah, if I go and I log in, you have access to tons of capture pages for the same price. So they have one for college students. So I can make a, a college student capture page. So here is the capture pages right here. See, Reagan went and looked at mine. David uh, Luciago went and looked at it. But if I go here, these are generic. So here's one for colleges right here. Can't pay your tuition? You know, want to learn a new skill set and blah, blah, blah. You can make that capture page. You can have so many work from home. Uh, women work from home, moms work. I mean, there's generic ones, or you can build your own if you, if you got that skill. But the only difference is the landing page behind it, um, they don't come with videos. See, if I click on this one, it doesn't come with videos. It will cost you $25 to put Reagan's and M video on there. But after that, you see your information is on there. And then also, if they click on Get Started, it takes them right to your Tradera page, your Tradera, your Tradera link. So there's so many tools out here, but I tried to find the best of the best that I have used or would use and, um, and then make it so, so that everybody can, you know, have something to look forward to when they turn on their computer, they could go right to their homepage. Now this is Windows, I have a Mac, so Mac is a different uh, screen, but it still has the blocks and just put your most important things there so you can stay focused, okay? You see my bank is on the end because everything over here is going to drive money right to that tab right there. <laughs> okay. But anyway, Megan, that's my story today. I was trying to keep it as short as possible, but I just wanted to get everybody back re-engaged, reignited, making it happen and getting exciting. Uh, getting excited. I mean, we have the best opportunity. The leaders, trust me, we feel your pain. You know, until we, I think they said, Megan, until the mid- August until we get everybody back active and connect with people. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Linda, this was, you know, amazing. I mean, you, you have a way of putting things together and these are things that I'm not great at. You know, I, I'm really good at just going and finding people who know way more than I do because I want to learn. People were texting me during the presentation and I'm like, I'm on, I'm in training right now. <laughs> somebody said well you're not talking I'm like I'm in training right now I'm learning from the best 
I've, I've not been in the industry as long as you've been in the industry and you know the tricks of the trade and this was phenomenal. I'm going to upload this training to the YouTube channel right after this, but absolutely. I mean, incentives work, you know, doing the basics first, but then adding these incentives as you get going. So your business isn't stagnant, but people running it like a business, giving it the same level of respect that you're going to give your face mask business that you just started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. So but I you, appreciate you. Also your job, Megan. I mean, people have jobs. You go in there from nine to five and you put in nine to five. They tell you don't go to the bathroom, but every 45 minutes or whatever, you sit there until it's time for you to go to the bathroom, but you do it because you know, at the end of the week, you're going to get a check. But you, if you do, if you're just as disciplined and have your CRM and have everything in place. So when you sit down, just like you do your job, you're going to get the same results. You're going to get a check every week. But this time, you don't have to sit there for eight hours because it doesn't take a to total of eight hours consistent sitting to make five to 10 times more of the income. Exactly. I appreciate you so much. This was an amazing training. I know some people were asking for the PDF slide, so I don't know how you want to do that. I could. I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay. I tried to record it yesterday when I, I did, I did this briefly. I didn't do the whole presentation for my team, just the tools. And I messed up my recording, so I'm glad you, you recorded it. Um, I didn't get the, I messed up something. But anyway, I will definitely put this because it has all the, um, the website tabs on there for them to get to all this stuff. Okay, so awesome. So all of you guys who are asking me for the PDF slides, just give um, Linda an opportunity to send it over to me. I'll turn it into a PDF, and then I will drop it where I always drop stuff <laughs> in my <laughs> Telegram and on the Facebook page, because that is my system. That's how I communicate with everybody. So when I upload this video, not only will I have the uploaded video, I will also have the PDF slides under it, so you can click it, read it, give it to your team. So Linda, thank you, you are amazing as always. Miss Linda Rogers Brown is a godsend to me, and she trains every single Wednesday. Now remember that I am not doing presentations today, but I have leaders who are doing presentations. How do you find that information? Telegram, Facebook, and the schedule is already in there, the links to the calls. There's a global money team call at two o'clock, seven o'clock, and 10 o'clock. Bob Morant does a call at seven o'clock. The senior preneurs are doing a call at five o'clock. Thank you. Someone just posted that right into the group. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you really got something out of this. Go into the group and kind of give us some love. We don't work for this company. We work for ourselves, but we also, leaders, real leaders work extremely hard for their teams. That's why I used to get, Linda, I used to get so mad at the knucklehead student that I would have in my class who would come in every other day. You know what I'm talking about. He'd be absent on Monday, show up on Tuesday enough to get on my freaking nerves. Then he would be absent on Wednesday and Thursday, and then he would come back to class on Friday because he thought it was party time. And he would come into my class and be a freaking nuisance. And then un he couldn't understand Miss Lynch is tripping. I said, you don't understand how much work I put in to my lesson plans. We are teaching right now. These PowerPoints don't make themselves. It's all leadership. We, gotta, we have to not only answer questions, we have to not only run our own businesses, many of us have kids, we, some people have other jobs, and then we get into these trainings, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing up on time. Now it's time to get your kids and your grandkids, like Linda said, to show up to these trainings on time, to take notes, to take it seriously, because the people who take this business seriously will never work another day in their life. I don't plan on going anywhere else. If I go somewhere else, everybody's going to be looking for me to do all the PowerPoints, the trainings. The, we don't want to do that. Tradera is the best thing since, you know, sliced bread, I'm telling you. It's just an opportunity for all of you to figure out what your gifts are. Linda has a gift for training and she is an awesome recruiter. And she'll tell you, she's a recruiter. So figure out what your gifts are. What could you be doing to give to the team? Do not just be a 
e extractor, right? And I'm gonna leave you guys with this. This is more of a life tip. At some point in your life, when you are in relationship with people, I don't care if it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your kids, at some point in, in your business partners, at some point in your life, in that relationship, you're going to have to make a withdrawal. You're going to have to make a withdrawal. Not all the time. If you're, if you're married, guys, please stop expecting for your husband and wife to always be giving 50%. You're going to be divorced. Sometimes people can't give 50%. They're tired. They, they got health issues. Sometimes your husband or wife can only give 20%. Are you willing to do the other 80%? But here's what I'm gonna tell you too. At some point, all of you are gonna to have to make a withdrawal out of that relationship. Do you have enough in the love bank to make a withdrawal is the question. Some of you guys are constantly, you know, giving, giving, giving. Some of you are constantly adding to the love bank and you got people on your team who are constantly trying to make withdrawals and they have never put anything in to the love bank ever. Those people get deleted, right? If you, you don't have skin in the game, if you're not in the mud with me right now, Linda can have a moment, right? I will allow Linda to have a, a freak out <laughs> moment. You know why? Because <laughs> Miss Linda adds to the love bank. She adds to my business all the time. I will give Linda permission to freak out for 24 hours. Some, Absolutely not. You have not given not one anything to the love bank and you over here trying to make withdrawals. Uh-uh. You might get deleted from my <laughs> telegram real quick. So keep that in mind. I love all of you. Let's start adding to the team. If you've been over here for longer than a week, you are no longer new. What, what you got, right? What you adding to the team? Because if you, if you don't have anything to add to the team, you can't be on the floor. You got to sit on the bench. But some of you guys who are sitting on the bench, you are just as valuable. If you're over there cheering and go, Linda, go. Awesome job, Linda. If you're on the bench cheering, I want you guys to watch a volleyball match, a college volleyball match, or softball. Girls, though, you got to watch girls. We are cheering on the bench. If you ain't cheering, you better sit your butt down. You better not say nothing. Not one peep better come from you <laughs> what you add so i want you guys that's your homework this is your takeaway thank you linda this is your takeaway for today i need you guys to figure out between now and the next seven days what do you plan on adding to the love bank of our team what are you going to add because we need you we love you we need I'm you i'm sorry Let's megan can i just say one thing yes go right ahead in the chat, they are thanking us. They're thanking you and me for such great training. People are saying this is worth uh, its weight in gold. And I just want to say, if you if you really are appreciative of what's everything that's going on here today, the way you can show your gratitude is go in your back office and find the people who are pending on your team and help them reactivate. That's your gift to us. You know, to help us get your team back in the system. And that's all I got to say. That's, that's the focus right now this week for me, because we have hundreds of people that just, they probably don't even know. Right. Just help us. Just do that part, and that'll help you be a better leader. Thanks. Go get your kids. That's what you meant to say, Linda. Go get your kids and your grandkids. <laughs> and get your kids and your grandkids, because after your grandkids, it gets a little bit confusing. You guys know your, your, your grandparents, they'll be running through everybody's name, Justin, Linda, Reagan, before they get to you, you start forgetting. <laughs> yep. Go get your kids, go get your grandkids, and make sure everybody is going to reactivate their accounts because this is business, and if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Okay? We don't have their phone numbers. We don't have their numbers to reach them. We exactly. depend on you. Exactly. So you probably know the phone numbers of the people you've personally sponsored, but you don't know the phone numbers of the people you're personals have sponsored so you guys the easiest way to do this is to have a team meeting and be a phone number collector as soon as you guys i know i have every i have a lot of people's phone numbers because i'm a phone number collector 
So as soon as you guys have a team meeting, I want you guys to schedule it ASAP. Like you don't have time to waste. It can be a 30 minute Zoom meeting. You don't even need to pay for a Zoom. Zoom is free. You could be on there for 30 minutes. Here's your homework. Between now and Friday, you need to schedule a private call with your kids and your kids' kids. Now, tell your grandkids if they know who their people are to bring their people along too. And when you're on that team meeting, all you want to focus on doing is making sure, number one, you collect everybody's phone numbers just in case the parents go MIA. And you also want to make sure that everybody understands the seven steps to running this business. If they can understand the seven steps to running the business, every single person, I promise you guys, you're going to um, go right to the next level. So thank you guys so much. I'm not going to overcook your grits on here. Miss Linda. Yeah. Fantastic, as always. Thank you. I'm going to upload this right away. And then if you want to email me your PowerPoint when you get a chance, then I'll, add, I'll make it into a PDF. We'll do it. All right. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All right, guys. I will see you later. Get your people on the, on the calls today.